Hi Kinders, are you ready to do social studies again? Today you're going to need your interactive student notebook if you have it. If you don't, we just need the next blank page in your journal. Today we're going to talk about something super important, how to be a good helper. I bet you're a good helper at home for mommy and daddy. Are there things that you help mommy and daddy do that they probably couldn't do all the things without you? Well, at school, it's going to be the same way when you go to school next year. You're going to need to be a good helper because your teacher is going to rely on you to help her or him do things because she's just one person and there's 26 of you guys. So how can I be a good helper at school? We can help at school. Then it's a better place. How can I help? So what is she doing to help? Was it he? What's he doing to help? He's carrying all of these books. He's probably helping the librarian, Mrs. Ferrier. One way to help is taking care of things. If you have a pet, it's really important to take care of your pet, but not just animals and pets. You have to take care of your crayons. If you break all your crayons, then you won't have them. If you don't put the cap on your glue stick, they dry up. So taking care of things is really important. Those are the, some of the things you have to take care of at school. At home, maybe something you have to take care of is that you remember to make your bed so you help mommy, or you help mommy cook, or you help daddy cook, or you help daddy um, clean up your room so that he can vacuum or you can help vacuum. So taking care of things. I help take care of things. I treat objects with care so they will last longer. I feed the class pet. I treat objects. Objects are things. Like when you meet Mrs. Fury in the library next year, she's going to say kinders or first graders. You'll be a first grade next year. First grader, we have to treat our books with care so that our books will last a long, 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 long time. So taking care of the things in your classroom, in your home, and in the library will make it last longer for you. Cleaning up. Wow, is this important. Imagine if nobody cleaned up. Wow, we'd be living in a pigsty. It'd be a mess everywhere. I help keep my school clean. After I use something, I put it away. It's really important to put something away because last week when I was doing an art project, I didn't put away my scissors. And guess what? Today, I can't find them because I didn't put them away. If I had just put them away where they're supposed to go, I would be able to find it really fast. So putting things away is super important. I wash up. We have to keep our hands clean. So always wash your hands after recess and before you eat your snack. And I throw away my trash. Yes, we need to make sure that if it's something that can be recycled, we put it in the paper recycling. If it's something that can't be recycled, we put it in the trash. Following direction. Following direction means listening to the teacher. If the teacher said, please let me finish my important words, it means not interrupting. If she says, please raise your hand if you have something to say, that means that you raise your hand so the teacher knows you want to talk to her. Then I know what to do. I obey the school rules. Rules are, schools have rules and states have rules to keep us safe so that everything runs smoothly. I do my work. I do my work so I can learn. I ask questions when I don't understand and I finish my work on time. It's really important to finish your work because if you don't finish your work, your teacher won't know that you know how to do it. He or she may think you don't understand. I work well with others. Helping others work too is another way that you can make your school better and be a great helper. All right, if you have your workbook, you're turning to page 40. Page 40 looks like this. Four zero on the bottom and it says I am a handy helper I am a handy helper when I want you to think of something you do that you help mom and dad grandma or something you do in preschool to help your teacher what do you do do you put your pencils away do you pick up your toys after you play do you help your mommy fold laundry or daddy fold laundry do you help keep your room something that you do that makes you a good helper. Now, if you don't have this, we're just going to turn to the next page, blank page, and we're going to write, I can help by, and I want you to tell me how you help. So Mrs. Cito helps at home by cooking because Marcus, Nick, and Mr. Cito are always hungry. Nick helps by putting his dishes in the dishwasher for me. Marcus helps by taking out the trash. 
Mr. Cito helps by going grocery shopping. So think of something you can do, Kinders, to help mom and dad, grandma, your aunt or uncle, or even your sibling. What can? How do you help your brother or how do you help your sister? If you have a big brother or a baby brother or a big sister or a baby sister, something you do to help. And I want you to draw a picture of you helping your someone in your family or someone that, um, a teacher or someone that you know. I can't wait to see how you're a special helper. I'll see you next time, kinders. Bye.